this is a movie that Disney tried to hide from you. It's called The Black Cauldron and it came out in 1985. And it was actually Disney's first ever PG rating. And 12 minutes of the film actually had to be cut from the movie before it even came out because it was just not appropriate for kids. It's about a young boy and a bunch of his misfit friends who embark on a quest to find a dark magic item of ultimate power before a diabolical tyrant can. This villain is called the Horned King and he's one of the scariest Disney characters ever. Disney got a lot of backlash from this movie when it first came out. It was actually one of the greatest box office duds of 1985. Disney literally had to pull this film from theaters and place it in a deep, deep vault. In 1998, it was finally released on VHS. And I know when I was a kid, I used to watch it all the time and it definitely did give me nightmares. Now it's available to watch on like Disney Plus and it's very easy to find. After this movie came out, Disney wanted to restore their brand with friendly movies. So the movies that came out after Black Cauldron were super happy and uplifting. Disney kind of wanted us to forget for this is why everybody was afraid of this particular Toys R Us store. This store is located in Sunnyvale, California. It was built in 1970 over an old ranch that existed in the 1800s. The ghost of a man named Johnny Johnson is said to haunt the land around this Sunnyvale Toys R Us since it was built exactly where he had died. Staff have reported hearing their names being whispered to them, feeling cold breezes in the aisles, literally seeing toys move around on their own, and in the woman's bathroom saying, constantly turn on by themselves. And most of the female employees have said they felt someone playing with their hair. Staff was so convinced there was a ghost there that one day they decided to have a seance in the middle of the store. And they actually ended up getting a photograph of the ghost. This is a real photo of them all sitting on the ground. And behind them, there's a silhouette of a man who's leaning against one of the shelves. He's oddly surrounded by this really bright light, even though they were sitting in the dark. And they believe this figure in the photo to be the ghost of Johnny Johnson. Here are some of the most dangerous toys that were ever made for kids. First, we have Barbie and Tanner, which came out in 2007. Now, the puppy was supposed to eat and dispose of his food, so he literally pooped it out. And the magnet inside of him would often come loose, and toddlers would swallow it and literally have intestinal blockage. Then we had Clackers, which came out in the 70s, and they were taken off just a decade later for a major safety hazard. The acrylic balls would often hit people in the face, or they would break and go into people's eyes. Then we have Roller Blade Barbie, which came out in the 90s, and she literally had this like cigarette lighter device in her rollerblades that would literally shoot out sparks. And obviously being flammable was a major health hazard. Then we have the Hannah Montana pop star card game. Apparently this ended up having a crazy amount of toxic lead in it. And then we have the Burger King Pokemon balls from 1999. So many kids were suffocating using these because they would just put them over their mouths and not be able to get them off, which is horrible. And guys, there's so many more I could talk about, so maybe I'll do a part two, I don't know. This is why you need to watch out for a man with orange eyes. Orange eyes is actually a cryptid that you can find in Ohio. It's reported to be over 11 feet tall and 1,000 pounds. It is said that orange eyes lives under a Cleveland cemetery. And the first time he was ever seen was on March 28th of 1959. On that day, he attacked two teenagers that were hanging out at Lover's Lane. They claimed he was large and hairy and had these bright orange eyes. He also had this matted black hair and a strange odor. He was last spotted in 1991 when he appeared to two fishermen in Mill Creek. And afterwards, he apparently ran into a nearby woods and he was never seen again. Some people believe he's actually an alien, but to this day, he still remains a mystery. There are a lot of people who believe that owls are actually aliens and disguise. And I think those beliefs stem from the way the media has portrayed owls. The movie The Fourth Kind came out in 2009 and it was marketed that it was based on real events. The movie was about people talking to a psychologist about encounters they had with aliens in the middle of the night in their bedrooms. They all described this white owl showing up at their window, pretty much tapping on the glass trying its best to get in. You eventually find out that the owls are aliens in disguise and it's absolutely terrifying. I mean, I couldn't look at owls the same after watching that movie. There's also a kid's book called The Owls Have Come to Take Us Away by Ronald L. Smith. And it's about this 12 year old boy who is obsessed with aliens. And when he's too worried about them to sleep, he'll lie down in bed and listen to the owls hoot outside his window. The owls have the same eyes as the aliens that he worries about. So yeah, do I really believe that owls are aliens? No, but I do think they're a little bit creepy sometimes. 
here are some very creepy Webkinz glitches that are said to have happened. This first one is called the Webkinz virus. It is said that a black, red, or yellow box will appear in your Webkinz world. And if you click on the black box, a Neopet will pop out and attack your Webkinz. The red box apparently does the same thing. And if you click on the yellow box, you'll lose all your Webkinz possessions and money. The next creepy thing is called the Webkinz thief. There is a rumor that a Webkinz thief can steal your Webkin while you are logged onto the site. People say there is this red bloody hand that appears while the thief is stealing all your Webkinz information. Then lastly, we have the Webkinz killer. I read that there is a killer on Webkinz and it's the doctor, Dr. Quack. It is said that if you go into his office and click on his poster 32 times, he will close the curtains and kill your Webkinz in front of you. Clearly these are all fake and just sort of funny to talk about, but some people on the internet believe they're actually really real. This is why you should never call your own number. So this is a creepypasta that I heard that is definitely really creepy. They say that you should never answer your phone if it's your own number calling you. Because once you do, the game begins and you can't get out of it. So if you ignore the call, you're totally fine. But some people are curious and need to know who's on the other end. Basically, if you answer it, whatever you say into the phone, your own voice will say back to you. So if you say, hi, who is this? You'll hear, hi, who is this? But what you don't know is that as long as you stay on the phone, your doppelganger is coming for you. It can track your location as long as you're speaking to it. So there are stories on the internet about people's doppelgangers arriving at their front door or peering through their bedroom windows. And basically your doppelganger wants to take over your life. This kind of reminds me of the movie Us. Anybody else? And no one will know you are gone when they replace you. So don't call your own number, don't answer it either. This person that you're looking at right now does not exist. There is a real website out there called thispersondoesnotexist.com and it basically just shows a bunch of randomly generated faces, but none of these people exist in real life. This website was launched by a software engineer named Philip Wang and it's an AI system that comes up with some of the most realistic looking faces of non-existent people that machines have produced thus far. It's definitely one of the eeriest sites that I've ever been on in my life because these people look so real, but it's just literally a bunch of people's faces mishmash to look like one. This site shows how easy it is becoming for people to create fake images that look plausibly real, and the generator creates a new face every two seconds. So if you want to see this, definitely go look for yourselves, but I warn you, it's eerie. What accent is the most attractive? Pakistani. Ah, you're teasing me, naughty naughty.